Para. Para. Stop. That, that's what that means in Spanish. Stop playing with me. There's no games over here. There's no games over here, baby. And I already told y'all before. Stop playing with it, period. Now come here. My first time trying color, and you know I had to get slayed by none other than Jada. Come on now. You're playing games if you thought I was going to go elsewhere. Now, the baby hair's on amniotic fluid. Okay. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. I just came out the womb, my love. And this color, you can just call me Spicy Mommy Hot Tamale. <laughs> Let's get into this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada, and today I'll be reviewing another wig, and this one's from Elva Hair. Now, this wig is not a regular dark brown hair. Yeah, please do not come at me. They're kind of boring sometimes. But today I'll be reviewing a 613 bob wig. Yes, it is a bob. No, did I want it to be a bob? No, but the company did send it to me in this length. Now, this wig is a 13 by 6 inch lace wig. It is 14 inches long, and it is Swiss lace. Now, the lace color, as you guys can see, is a little bit light, but, you know, we're going to kind of finesse throughout this video. Uh, now, really, why I wanted to use a blonde wig instead of a dark brown wig for this color is because blonde wigs take to colors and make them more vibrant, and you don't damage the hair in the process if you have to bleach it upwards now I'm going to be using the kiss temptations color one's an intense red and one is paprika now my first choice was the l'oreal high color red colors and um, they're all gone just like all white Air Force ones I don't know what's happening this summer y'all but anyways we move I use these two colors and they actually did not come out too bad but before I went in with that went in with those colors I went in with some got to be gel and hairspray and I made sure that the lace was completely covered before I went in with color because especially red it will stain your lace and you'll have a red scalp and we don't want that so I actually found that this worked out really well it was just really hard to come out but after a few washes it came out um, and something dumb that I did while doing this was putting a tissue paper underneath <laughs> The lace, I know you guys are quaking right now, me too, uh, but I was going to use plastic bag, but my brain didn't click, so, you know, I just moved on with it. So I did this in sections, y'all know I'm not the best at coloring, but I really, I really went ham, I really was so proud of myself in this whole coloring experience. It did take really long, so take your time. One thing I have to say guys, please take your time and make sure you part it properly because you do not want a blonde section to be left and you want to go all the way up to the roots because you don't want blonde roots with red hair. It will look crazy. So I saturated the entire hair with this color and after I was done, it all was like pretty even, pretty dark and I thought, wow, this is this looks really good because guys, the color we were going for is a color in the beginning, um, pretty burgundy. So that was the hope for this whole video. Now the paper was not too hard to remove after washing it, it just came right off. Y'all know that paper breaks up in water. Um, but the hair looked pretty dark to me, but it really came out like that. It was bright red, y'all, like my lips. I can't. And my sister was not having it. She's like, I'm not about to walk out the house looking like Wendy. So, I took this color and I deepened it a little by using a brown box dye. This is just a, a dark brown color. So one thing I definitely did after pouring that brown box dye into my mixing bowl is I added a tiny bit of paprika, not intense red, just paprika because it's darker. And then I mixed it up together and then I went over all of that wig just to darken it. And guys, this actually worked. Um, I think I left the color on for about... 40 to 50 minutes only because I really wanted that color to darken up and get really intense and as you guys can see right here It looks really dark like dark brown, but when you wash it out it came out burgundy, which is what we wanted All right y'all so this is my sister y'all already know her 
Um, so she's never tried color before, <laughs> ever. And as you guys saw from the previous clips, I was dyeing a hair especially made for her. It's this one right here. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. It went from blonde to red to now burgundy. I'm nervous. I've mm -hmm. never done color before, so. Jenny, this is different. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, what? What do you think? I am, um, I, I just can't wait to see the end product because right now. It matches your skin tone. Wow. It looks good. Oh and my I God, have to it looks good. Hair this color. Yes, it looks, <laughs> yes. All right, so we're going to do what I normally do. I always do the same thing, guys. Y'all already know the process, so we're going to focus more on the actual hair than application because you guys see that in every video. So um, one thing about this, as you guys saw, it's from the Elva Hair Company. Uh, it is a bob, about 14 inches long. It is 13 by 6 parting space so yes girl you got room no more one inch parting i don't even know why they invented that um and it is swiss lace the color of the lace though as you guys can see it's not hd it's not invisible it's slightly it's slightly giving white woman yeah so i've been on jada's channel for quite some time now i know you guys have seen me a couple times on here and let me just tell you out of all the wigs she's put on my head this one fits the absolute best like it's comfortable it, it's like they made it just for my head um it goes perfectly right here y'all can probably not see that it goes perfectly right here it feels comfortable in the front like it's probably gonna cover my edges so essentially what she's saying is it's big head friendly because <laughs> y'all know we got the we got a whole land on okay let me stop all right guys y'all know the first thing i do i normally clean the Skin with alcohol do that because it's essential for your growth I could literally go in and tint the lace right now but I'm not trying to play today we're trying to slay today and we don't got time to waste today <laughs> okay period so we're gonna go and do it the traditional way after cleaning her skin y'all already know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in with some glue as I'll be linking this glue review down because I did a whole review on it if you're interested it's the Isha glue but it's the collagen and vitamin vitamin infused glue so let's go let's put it on I'm gonna do this in sections for y'all beginners out there. I'll be doing about two to three layers. I'm gonna let all layers dry and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so the center part of her hair is now dried. So I'm gonna start pulling the lace down like I normally do. So guys, I'm going to quickly glue down the sides of her hair and I'll come back and pull it down just like I did the middle. Alright guys, so I just glued the sides down and I'm about to uh, use the comb to apply it. <laughs> I'm going to go over her hairline with a silk scarf. I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes and then I'm going to remove it. Oh. I'm trying to behave properly because somebody asked me if I had some reds in my last video. That's actually hilarious. But guys, so off camera, I cut the lace as you guys can see and there is, turn to the side, there is a cast. Definitely because as you saw, it's very lace. Casper at this point. <laughs> The lace is lighter than her skin tone, so there's things we're gonna have to do to combat that, okay? First step, first thing I'm gonna do. I gotta have to pull out some of these hair because we're gonna be playing around with it today. Okay, don't worry about it, and you can fix it up. Don't, don't give me no skidding car breaks. <laughs> I don't want to see the don't, skidding break marks. Don't, emba <laughs> don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Rude. But guys, one thing I want to say, the benefits of getting a six... That's too loud. I'm not competing. <laughs> I'm not competing. I'm not I'm going to be taking some foaming mousse, and I'm going to be going over the little edges we pulled out and bring it forward. But I'm going to move fast because, as you guys know, it's water-based. I want to look like I just came out the water. 
give me amniotic fluid. <laughs> Thank you. Give me amniotic fluid, baby. I'm so tired of you. You know that, right? I don't want the legs to start lifting, so I'm going to put this on really quickly. So guys, when the paper wrap is on, that's your moment to style the hair. I mean, like, go in and curl, go in and straighten, do whatever you want with the hair. It's kind of loose. I know, but I can't tighten it anymore. I don't want it to rip. All right, that's good. So yes, I'm going to let this stay on while we style the hair. And the next time you see us, we will have the hair completely styled. And we'll take off the wrap and show you guys how the hair looks. Um, all right. All right, guys, so the next step is I'm going to go over her lace with some makeup. So, guys, I'm going to be explaining the benefits of getting a 613 wig as opposed to a dark wig and trying to bleach it. Definitely, guys, I've been the, a victim of getting hair and trying to bleach it all the way up until it's completely light. And let me tell y'all something. Not only do you damage the hair, but you're never going to get to a completely blonde color like you're looking for. Can you hold this? Yes. That you're looking for. So it's definitely beneficial to go for a 613 blonde wig if you're looking to color your hair in any sorts of color. Now, if you want like a burgundy red or a midnight blue color, you can definitely, you know, dye the wig, a dark wig up a color. Or if you're looking for like a dark brown or a medium tone brown, you could play around with um with a regular brown lace wig. But if you want a light color or your wig to be very vivid, you want to start off with what? A 613 wig. That's the only way that you're gonna get your wig to be to show a true color and to also not be as damaged as another as, as a dark wig would normally be. The most comfortable wig I've ever worn. I'm not even gassing right now. Like, I feel like I could just move my face without feeling like a tugging. And I just, it feels great. You look crazy? I look crazy good. Uh, I'm trying to go, um, I'm trying to go against the cast a little. And I'm sorry, this looks so good. Like, oh my God, I didn't expect yeah. it to look this good. You're looking delicious, babe. Yeah, so her hair, um, styling is definitely a, whatever you want to do. It is a short bob. This color is living on her and yeah. she's living on it. I love um, it. There are other steps you could people could do to, to, you know, style. My sister doesn't really like a lot of baby hairs, like, you know, like race tracks curving around your head. She doesn't really like a lot of it. That, so I, I'm going to let her do her own baby hairs, guys, because she knows how to do it best to fit her face. So I'm just foaming down the hair so it doesn't fly up. Dang, I used too much. Oh my god, this is impeccable. Oh my god. I'm, I'm in shock right now because this is my first time ever doing color. And it looks good on you. It brought your skin tone out. I look good. Like, I want to wear this for a minute. Mm-hmm. Wow, oh, Daddy, this really said something to your skin tone. Oh my gosh. It said, wake up! Oh, I see you feeling yourself. <laughs> You've awoken. <laughs> who did I, did, who did I wake up? Jody. This is Jody right here. Peek on the side. Yeah, I can see it. Stop playing. I'm annoying, but <laughs> what? She just came from the doobie shop. Stop freaking playing with me. Stop freaking playing with me. So guys, one big thing as you guys are realizing right now, the only thing that is off about this is a little bit of a cast, but that's to be expected because we are black. 
and these laces are coming real indifferent this year you know this these types of lace they're workable um it was a lot lighter and pink but we've you know we've compromised but y'all sh sh show us a little preview tell us what you're tell us what you're feeling hun first of all i don't even have words right now because this is the first time i'm wearing color and i'm feeling myself like oh dang i'm trying to go out <laughs> but it's COVID and I cannot. <laughs> but um, can you just call me Brianna with the red hair? Keisha Cole with the red hair. Y'all know like when the celebrities get red hair and then you change it up, like it's always spicy. That's how I feel right now. Stop. Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> Do I have to keep telling them? No, I think they got it. They got it? No, wait, there's one more in the back that didn't get it. Hey, you over there. <laughs> Yes. Stop playing with sis. Okay, you well. won't. Stop playing with sis. There's no hanky panky, baby. Stop playing with sis. Stop playing. Stop playing with sis. And subscribe. Subscribe. I see you sitting there saying like, okay, wait, I gotta watch another video to see if I really vibe with her personality. First of all, do that. But you know, you don't even need to watch another video to see if you vibe over here. Welcome, my people. Enter in. You want to look this bomb and you want to learn some tricks and tips? Then subscribe and oh like. God. Turn on the post notifications. You can't even say that because you don't even have mine on. Y'all, she's fake. This is my sister and she doesn't even have my post notifications on. But I'm always the first to see her videos, so. Yeah, because you hear me upload it. Y'all, one thing I got to say, though, she just she's revamping her channel for the 15th million time. Um, so go subscribe. I'll be linking it down below, and it will be at the end of this video. Thanks, Jada. No problem. Bye, guys. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm so happy. I'm about to FaceTime. Well, not FaceTime. Here's an Android. <laughs> to messenger girl, uh, my boyfriend. Matthew, do you want to see my hair? Jada's recording this, by the way. It's probably gonna be on YouTube. All right, look. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I know the light is like really bright right here. Oh look. my god! I know. You look so friggin' pretty. Thank you, Jesus Matthew. Christ. This is crazy. I love it. I love it. Where the lace at, though? <laughs> are you gonna wear that? Yeah, I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. Where are you going? Jada you look like Jada. Jada. That's what everybody's saying. So oh my god, you look just like me! It's the first time I hear you ever say that. Oh my god, you really do! Oh my god. Do you like her hair? I love it. It looks so nice. And it looks real.